You're such a shit. I know. As if you made it, it's 56. <laughs> I just. I'm mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down for the long run now. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Calling up my digits in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip. Yeah. What is going on, you lot? Welcome to the video. We are in South Kensington. We're about to head to the hospital. I should get some Ben's cookies. How many cookies should we get? First, 20. So today we are going to find out the results of my CT scan. Obviously, you know that in the previous videos. We found out about the five extra bloody brain tumours. Uh, but we're now need, we need to find out about the CT scan. We already kind of know because I'm going to go and be picking up my drugs, which is a good indicator that the treatment is working on the rest of my body. We found out last night. Peter rang me to tell us that we need to come back to the hospital this morning to get the drugs. Okay, so once we've got the drugs, then we're going to find out about the CT scan, get a full, like Peter's going to tell us the full crack about it. Um, and we're going to get some treats as well because it must have been hard for her to tell us the news yesterday. It all got a bit teary. We all kind of got a bit... No, go on, sorry. We all got a bit like, you know, welled up. So we're going to get some cookies to say thank you. Yeah. It's not really... I'm just waiting for my to come through. Hopefully it's here. I don't know if it is though. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. It only takes 25 minutes to get here from Bromley, which is like very lucky. After this, we're gonna go and see Peter. We're gonna go and get the lowdown on the scan if she's got time to tell us. Like, just literally, whether she, it looks like it's working or not. What it looks like in the liver. Is it new or did they get less chairs around here? I feel like that couch has shrunk. Very long time since we were sat here. Oh geez, do you remember this sofa? Isn't it, isn't it funny that it's like we have spots in the hospital where we used to film all the time. Now it's just at home because my treatment's at home. For those of you who didn't watch me in the past, this is where I used to sit and wait for my treatment when I used to have to come in and have it. Oh my god, my voice. This is my voice. Oh shit. It could be another spot. Yeah, but there's an doctor. So we just went for Peter. Oh god, my fucking heart's pounding like a beast. 23 by 22 millimetres, so 2.3 centimetres by 2.2. And now it's down to 2.1 by. They think the bones look pretty similar to what they looked before. And because your pain's better, then at the way forward is for us to still try and work out because the brain's a bit more complicated as far as mm. what we need to do because you've had cyber knife. So, guys, that was that. Um... The liver has gone down a little bit, the bones are still the same in my hip, but it means that they possibly can have an idea as to, you know, a bit of radiotherapy in the brain maybe. Um, it's mixed news, it's, it's not all, all round, it's actually really shit news. But really, the T&D, still early days, it's still only eight weeks. I've just got to live my life knowing that, yeah, this could be it basically, so I'm just going to go and enjoy. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, I think that might be better. No, I've eaten a whole cookie, baby. Oh. is going to leave no stone unturned. That's what I should be doing. Do you know what I mean? Just singing my fucking heart out. <laughs> Legend. Yeah, every place in London. I'm just going to take me everywhere. Um, we're in Seven Sisters. Well, Seven Sisters, stop. I don't know where we are. We're in Tottenham. And uh, we are heading to... I don't know. Some road. What road? Pearly Way, no? Philip Lane. Philip Lane, which is... Somewhere where Aisha works, sometimes. One of the sites. And apparently there's a nice restaurant, a nice cafe nearby, so we're gonna go there. Uh, Aisha's gonna pop into work. I'm gonna do some online stuff, get a video up for you lot. Um, 
I just get these sudden realizations. I just have one on the tube that I haven't got long. Come on, what do I need to do? What do I need to? What will I regret if I don't do? That's what I've got to think. What will I regret if I don't do? You know, we should make this a new series. We should make a new series. Just call it something. Comment down below a good name for a series. How to maximise the end of your life. If you've been given, say, let's just say three months, you know, she did say something less than that. She just wants to buy everyone Easter eggs. <laughs> you buy everyone Easter eggs, babe. Come on, let's go and bog by 10 million Easter eggs and give them out to everyone. But what should we call this series? How can I. Let's make something depressing really fucking cool. But this is it, Urban Green. Right next door to Aja's work. Right, let's go test this shit out. Oh, I'm nervous now, because what if it's rubbish? <laughs> Hello, Okay, the menu is amazing. The service so far is good. Nice and airy. The meat is halal, which is a massive bonus for Aisha. What would you rate it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That was really fucking good. Really good. I've eaten Aisha's meal and my meal because she found it too much. So I just doubled it up and went for it. This is what it feels like to bulk. So glad that we ate it there. So two really, really, really big meals fill up to the brim. Oh, and toast. Oh, is that our bus? Oh. Oh. And toast. Three drinks, 25 quid. And really, really nice food as well, so really good. I've just sat down, edited a video and uploaded it, so I'm a happy bunny. Now we're off to do a bit of shopping. Okay. Shopping. shattered uh, but I'm still gonna go to the gym because it helps me and my anger I oh, she's just getting a sandwich and prep even though well I think I ate all of her food which is why she's hungry and I'm not so I'm gonna go and find her, and then we're gonna go home to Bromley go to the gym and have a family meal um, this vlog really you know not much substance in this vlog other than well the results of this morning I suppose there's loads of substance but did you find it she got the salmon sandwich I only like it from there. Do you? We've got water as well, babe. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, we're going to get the train back. Oh, she's going to go for a wax. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the gym. And then we're having fat-free lasagna. <sighs> right. Excuse the mess in the background. We're just uh, kind of like packing up to go to Canterbury. Um, just for to finish this vlog off, really. We uh, just had a manic manic day and we're just falling asleep like you know we're on a train on the way home we're just like falling asleep we're literally like you can't stay awake it's just because this the 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 stress of keeping thinking about the fact that you've got this new diagnosis makes you so drained and tired i was just upstairs on the, on the bed lying down because she just um you know, for her, it just must must be horrendous, and it's the start of a new chapter, which is going to be very, very hard. And I know I keep saying that because I'm saying it because I still need to get my head around it. I still need to kind of come to terms with that. But we'll do it. We will do it. I'm I'm so adamant. I'm not going to die yet. I'm so adamant. I'm. And if I do die, then obviously I know that I'm not falsely getting my hopes up. I think I'll know when it's going to happen. But life is just about living right now. And today we've lived it. Tomorrow I'll live it. The next day I'll live it. And if you think something, do it. Because life is really too short. <laughs> it really, really is. Anyway. 
I'm going to end the vlog right now. The um, outcome from my next lot of treatment, I'm sure, will be here next. I reckon, hopefully, by next Thursday, I'll, I will know. And I know I'm definitely going up to the hospital next Thursday to get her a plan of action. So, fingers crossed, we get something sorted out. Anyway, you lot, I love you so much. Thanks for all your support, likes, shares, subscribes, everything. It means the world to me. All the emails mean the world to me. I'm slowly getting around to them all. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the content, even though it's pretty crap content. Pretty crap news. Anyway, I'm going to clear this rubbish up. Sort my bags out for Canterbury, and I'll see you in the next vlog, guys. I love you lots. Big things ahead. Peace.